Hello guys, my name is Alejandra. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here. I hope that you'll give this video a big thumbs up as well as subscribe down below if you're not already subscribed. Oh my gosh, can you guys imagine if my intros were like that? I literally can't breathe. Hello guys, my name is Alejandra. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. It's so nice to have you. I hope that you'll like me enough to stick around. So today's video is going to be a what's on my iPhone 11 Pro Max plus how I edit my Instagram pictures. I thought that this kind of went together and also I've been doing something with my Instagram pictures. I've been trying to start having a theme. Never in my 21 years of my life have I ever had an Instagram theme. I never really like fell into it, but recently I've been kind of liking the vibe that it gives me. So I decided to try it out. And so far we're doing good. We're sticking to it. Hasn't been that hard. I don't like push myself to take a picture somewhere because it follows my Instagram theme. Okay, so we are going to get started. And this is the reason why I had to upgrade. The whole story is on my channel. Also, I unboxed my iPhone. So if you guys want to see that video, I will have it down in the description box or you can just head on over to my channel and watch it there. This is my phone and this is what it looks like. I just have a black case i'll pop off the case for you guys and this is what the back looks like of my phone i just got the black one and it's matte as you can tell and it's really really pretty the front just looks like this it's just black so my case if you're wondering i got it at walmart for like five dollars Okay, so my screensaver just says, I found that if you love life, life will love you back. So then on my phone, you just have the regular apps that the phone comes with. You have photos and just everything. Okay, so then you have everything. And then if you scroll to the second page, this is where I have most of my apps. As you can see, the first one that I have is Airbrush which we will get back to that one. We have the AMC one. And this one, I literally just downloaded the AMC um, app because I kind of want to see if I can get like the rewards points, but I haven't gotten to that. And then we have Discover because that's my credit card. We have the Disney Plus. Give this video a big thumbs up if you use Disney Plus. So here's Disney Plus. And then we have Facebook, Facetune, which we will get back to that as well because Facetune is going to be just um, how I edit my Instagram pictures. Gmail, Google Home, iMovie, because that's the phone comes with iMovie, so that's on there. I have my Instagram. If you're not already following me on Instagram, definitely go follow me. Here is my feed, which looks super pretty. So far, this is what it looks like. And then I have Messenger, AT&T, Pinterest. Um, I have Pinterest, Quizlet, because I use this. This is the CEE sign. This is signing exact English. I think you guys know, um, for college, I was taking a class for sign language. So I have this here because it teaches me how to say certain things. So we'll look up, hello. It'll tell you how to say hello. And then if you want to say guys, oh, oh let me see, pal. Let's show you guys how to say pal. Pal. So Okay, so if I want to say hello pal, I would be like, hello pals. This is an S, so I added the S. Um, so basically, that's a fun little app. I have Spotify, which by the way, if you guys are curious of what my Spotify is, how do you look at my name? I have no idea. Home, maybe? I don't even know, but I'll leave my Spotify down below because I know you guys like listening to my music, especially my Mexican playlist and stuff like that. I have all those playlists right here, have country, and then just other, other cool, um, other cool playlists so I will link my playlist down below for you guys and after that I have my Starbucks app my bank app I have TikTok oh my goodness guys TikTok is literally oh my God, you're so TikTok is literally my favorite I can scroll through TikTok for the longest time I love TikToks so I have TikTok I mean yeah I have TikTok and then I have Twitter and then I have unfold so basically you can just make templates I don't really use it I just kind of have it on my phone to be honest then I have visco which that goes to my Instagram pictures and then I have YouTube and YouTube studio and that's basically it that's everything that's on my phone now that I have shown you guys what's on my iPhone and basically everything that's on here I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I edit pictures I don't have any pictures right now that I want to edit. I mainly just have like 
meme pictures. <sighs> Like this right here is honestly a big mood. I kind of just have memes all over the place and things that I want. I really, really want this purse. So Valentine, if you're watching this, please, baby, give me this. Okay, anyways, since I don't have any pictures on here that I currently want to edit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking some pictures so you guys are going to actually see how I do that on here. And we might upload this picture, we might not upload this picture. So if we do, you guys will kind of see the behind the scene. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take a selfie, something that I think kind of matches me, something that would look good on my feed, and then I'll get back to you guys. Alright guys, so we're 12 pictures in and I don't like any of them. And this is typically how it goes, honestly. So, okay guys, so I just finished taking a whole bunch of pictures and let me show you guys what that looks like. Okay, do you guys see all of those? These are a bunch of pictures that I just got done taking right now. Now I'm back and I feel ugly. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I'm totally kidding. But anyways, I found a picture that I semi-like and it looks like this. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my pictures and I'm going to find the picture that I liked and it's this one. So this is what the beginning of the picture looks like and it's, you can see it looks crusty. So we're going to get this picture and then we are going to go to airbrush and we open it up and we find the picture. Where is the picture? It's right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and push magic, just push magic and then that's all that I do. Literally, I just push magic and then I push OK and then I save it. And that's all that I do. It literally does everything for you. We have our picture and you can also smooth it out. You can do acne. You can do reshaping, any of that stuff. But I don't really reshape anything. OK, so now that it's saved, it's going to be right here. So this is what the picture looks like after I went on to airbrush and I just push magic and boom. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to Facetune, pick the picture, which is this one. There's my sister. And then we're going to do whiten and you already know girls, we're going to whiten our teeth a little bit. I don't like to do it a lot, but I do like to do it just a little bit. We all whiten our teeth. It's fine. And then I'm going to edit a little bit of the background. Okay, so this is the picture that we have after we have gone through airbrush and after we have gone through Facetune. So this is the final picture. Okay, so then after this, we are going to go on to Instagram. Oh, there's pretty Gabby. I love her. Okay, so then we're going to go to Instagram and we are going to make sure that the picture is on the whole like insta thing however we like it and then we're gonna go to next the first thing that I do is I'm going to go to slumber so we're gonna be using slumber and usually I like to put it around 60 so then once it's done 60 we push done we go to edit and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on brightness and brighten it up a little bit so we are gonna go to brightness and just do a little bit I don't like to do a lot maybe three and then after that, contrast, maybe, I don't know, let's do 12. I just eyeball it. Contrast 12. And then we go to warmth and warmth. I'm going to warm this the heck up. We're going to go all the way to 70 maybe. Oh, there we go. It looks a little bit orange, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the color. And this is my magic touch right here. We go to color. And we put the yellow color. And we are going to do maybe 60 on this one. I think I like 60. Okay. And then we are going to do a little bit of saturation. For saturation, I only do the littlest, littlest amount. Maybe like that. And then we have our picture. I think this is the way that I like it. And So for my Instagram, I don't know if you guys follow me. You guys know that I have like an orangey kind of tint to it like a vintage orange like a rustic look to it and I really like the way that looks but since right now I'm wearing a yellow sweater that makes it look extra warm so we're going to have to fade it out so I'm going to get the fade button and we're just going to go a little bit maybe like 42 fade at 42 and then push done and then next and that is literally our final picture it looks so good I like it a lot 
And also guys, I just want to say that it's not that serious. Instagram is literally just the highest points of people's lives. Honestly, nobody's ever going to post a picture of them crying. Nobody's ever going to post a picture of them at a bad angle. Just remember whenever you're looking through Instagram and you kind of start to compare yourself or you want to compare yourself, just know that Instagram and online pictures and stuff like that, it's not always real. Love yourself for who you are. Know that we all have flaws. We all have insecurities. I could literally look at this picture of me right here and tell you guys a million things that I don't like about it, but I'm not gonna do that to myself because at the end of the day, we're all rad people, we're all unique, we all have things that make us who we are and that's what's beautiful about us. Don't take Instagram too seriously, but also if you love Instagram and you love taking pictures and stuff, that's super rad too. So yeah, that is going to be it for my video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I hope that you guys liked it a lot. Make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up as well as subscribing down to my channel below and I will see you guys in my next video.